Hello YouTubers, this is Robert28, 1979. Uh, little update. I've actually been out here all day today working on this 95 Dually. Uh, see there's the turbo and the exhaust. But uh, yeah, that's my next project. A little wagon that I was given to me. Of course the panel's laying on the floor all bent up, tore up. So but I'll cover that later. Well guys, this is where I've gotten on it so far as of right now. Everything is bolted together. I just bled the injector lines with the air and blew it out just trying to just hook everything up to crank it just to bleed the air out. And the booger tried to start already, so. But I've got fuel to every injector. And uh, one thing I was really wanting to cover on this quick video here, guys, is I went ahead and I made my own harness to relocate the PMD. Which right now is just standing in my hand, but that's pretty simple, pretty easy. I'm going to route it around once I get everything in here, route it around here, come down, and come at the same place where I come with the the plug. And after much debate, I went ahead and decided I'm just going to mount it behind the bumper, behind the license plate here like everybody else does. Just because it's been done, so I know it'll work there. It'll get enough airflow to stay cool, so... Because earlier I think even thought about putting it in the air box. I've heard about that. I've heard about people putting it inside their trucks. But I want in a real spot where it's going to get enough airflow to stay nice and cool. And I've got some computer parts in the house to where I can make the, the air times. I can get one out of my old computer do that myself without having to buy it. And basically I've done all this without having to buy any of the parts for the PMD relocation kit. And I know they sell a uh, number 9 resistor. All that does, from what I understand, is just give extra power from the wiring harness here. So, like I can care all, I ain't going out for performance, I'm going out for just drivability of this thing. But that is where it's at right now. So I've still got to put the turbo and everything back on this side. Now I've got everything primed up and ready to go. I'll get that done. Hooked up all the exhaust up and everything. And then I'll actually put oil, antifreeze, and everything in it. Get it all set to where the only thing I got left to do is put the hood on. And then I'll take another video of doing the first startup of it with this motor in this truck. So, guys, I mean, that's it's where it is. I mean, it took me a while today just to get everything else put in and put together. So, like I said, I'm going slow, meticulous, just make sure everything's done right with no dust and dirt or anything in the motor as I'm putting it together and I've encountered a couple issues along the way nothing major just minor stuff and another thing is as you seen in my previous videos you can't see it here but I tapped a bolt hole on the side I actually got a little bit longer uh, starter bolt and that worked it actually tightened up real nice and then I tightened that bolt just as a security measure so that seemed to be working good but uh at this point guys I'm about to run out of memory on this little junkie camera so rate my video subscribe if you like and look forward for more coming up thank you guys have a good one